Now, as we've been doing, a look back at a couple of big stories from the past year. The first one here in South Korea. In 2017, President Park Geun-hye was removed from office and jailed for corruption and abuse of power. And this year, her predecessor, Lee myung bak was also convicted for crimes committed while he was in office. Kim mo gyun has this report. 2018 saw another former South Korean leader sentenced to jail time. Former conservative President Lee myung bak who ruled the country from 2008 to 2013, was sentenced to 15 years in prison for corruption charges, becoming the fourth former president to be put behind bars. The court found Lee guilty of seven out of 16 charges against him. The 77-year-old was convicted of accepting some 13 million U.S. dollars in bribes from some of the nation's biggest companies and state agencies, including tech giant Samsung Electronics and the National Intelligence Service. The court found that he had received over $5 million from Samsung in the form of legal fees for a lawsuit in the U.S. The verdict said the retainer was paid in exchange for a presidential pardon for Samsung chairman Lee Gon Hee, who was under investigation for tax evasion. The judge also said that the defendant had embezzled some $22 million as a de facto owner of auto parts company Das. He had denied that he owned Das, but the Seoul Central District Court confirmed that he was the real owner of the company. He flatly denied all charges against him and has filed for an appeal on the court's ruling. He is now preparing for his appeals trial, which is scheduled to kick off on January 2nd. Kim Mo-gyun, Arirang News.